Welcome to a new session. Today we are going to study one of the use of dimensional analysis that is checking the dimensional consistency of equations. We already studied dimensions of physical quantities. It is having many uses. One of such use is to check the dimensional consistency of equations. We know each equation consists of many terms which are separated by equal plus or minus signs. Like we know that one of the equation of motion is S is equal to ut plus half at square. So it consists of three terms one is S another is ut and the third one is half at square. The dimensional consistency says that dimensions of all the terms in an equation must be identical. That is dimensions of all the terms in an equation must be same. So this is the dimensional consistency of equations. This simply means that we can add or subtract similar physical quantities. That is we cannot add length with weight. We cannot add force with energy. We cannot add length with force. So each term in an equation must have same dimensions. This simply means you can add or subtract similar physical quantities. This principle that is you can add or subtract similar physical quantities only is called principle of homogeneity. So what is principle of homogeneity? It says that you can add or subtract similar physical quantities. This is very helpful in checking the correctness of an equation. So if the dimensions of all the terms are not same, the equation must be wrong. Let us check the dimensional consistency of this equation that is S is equal to ut plus half at square. We are going to find the dimensions of each term. First we are going to take LHS that is the dimension of S. Dimension of S is L because S is the distance. So it is measured by the base physical quantity L. So dimension of S is simply L. Now we are going to find dimension of each terms of RHS. First term is ut. We can find the dimensional formula of the term ut by substituting the dimensional formula of u and t. We know u is initial velocity. So now we are going to find dimensional formula of velocity. We know velocity is equal to displacement by time. So it is length divided by time. So the dimensional formula is L t raised to minus 1. So dimensional formula of u is L t raised to minus 1 into dimensional formula of time it is t. Simplifying it 
we will get L. So, first term in right hand side, we got the dimensional formula as L. Now, the second term that is half a t square. We know 1 by 2 is a numerical value. So, there is no dimension for that. Now, we need to calculate dimension of acceleration. We know acceleration is equal to velocity by time that is equal to length divided by time divided by time. Thus, the dimension is L t raised to minus 2. So, dimensional formula of this term is L t raised to minus 2 into t square. Simplifying it, we will get the dimensional formula as L. So, here you can see each term in the equation is having a dimensional formula which is L. So, this equation that is S is equal to ut plus half a t square is dimensionally correct. Remember in mind that if an equation fails this test, that means that equation is dimensionally wrong, then that equation is wrong. That is, every correct equation must be dimensionally correct. But that does not mean that every dimensionally correct equation is correct. That is, if an equation is dimensionally correct, that means equation may be correct. That is, the equation may be wrong also, even though it is dimensionally correct. For an example, just look at this equation. This is a dimensionally correct equation and we know this is a correct equation because we already studied it is one of the equations of motion. But now, I am writing S is equal to u t plus a t square. That is, I just avoid half from this term. You can see dimension of S is L, dimension of u t is also L and dimension of a t square is also L. That means, dimension of all the terms are same. But we know this equation is wrong. But it is dimensionally correct. That is, an equation may be dimensionally correct, but that may be a wrong equation. So, if an equation is dimensionally wrong, that equation is wrong for sure. But if an equation is dimensionally correct, you can only say that equation may be correct. So, here we studied one of the use of dimensional analysis that is to check the dimensional consistency of equations. Thank you for watching this video. Keep learning. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe it. Also, please like and share this video.